Next topic is polypyrrole. It is P P Y polypyrrole. It is also a conducting polymer. In conducting polymer, we already discussed two three examples. One is polyacetylene, second one polyaniline, and third one polypyrrole. Here also we can study the preparation of polypyrrole. How it is prepared? It is prepared by the electrolysis of pyrrole in an aqueous solution of acetonitrile. The polymer will be deposited as a blue black film over the anode. It can be also prepared by the oxidation of pyrrole using ammonium persulfate as catalyst in 1 is to 1 ratio. Like that of polyaniline, here polypyrrole is also prepared by oxidative polymerization. How oxidative polymerization can be done? Oxidative polymerization can be done in the presence of nascent oxygen. Here also the monomeric unit is pyrrole. So pyrrole undergo polymerization in presence of nascent oxygen and the catalyst used is ammonium persulfate. The product obtained is polypyrrole. Here also the byproduct eliminated is H2O. Its structure is also very very important like that of polyaniline. Then we are moving to the properties of polypyrrole. It possesses excellent electrical, thermal and mechanical properties. High environmental stability. Uh, it is a good conductor in nature. The magnitude of conductivity it decreases with increase in diameter. These are the important properties of polypyrrole. Then we are moving to the applications of uh, polypyrrole. It is used in biosensor and also in immunosensor. Uh, due to its biocompatibility. Then due to its mechanical strength, uh, it can be matched with live tissue. So it is also used in medical field. Okay. Then moreover, it is also used in analytical sensor and also in biosensor uh, like that of polyaniline. Then it is also used in drug delivery system in human body. Polyaniline also has the same use. It is also used in photovoltaic cell. Then uh, it is also used in thermal and chemical sensors.